Hello, welcome to CMC Markets on Tuesday the 8th of March and the weekly market update. Now, we've come off the back of three weeks of gains for equity markets and a significant rebound in oil prices. Now, the big question at the moment, I think, really, as we head towards this week's European Central Bank rate meeting is, first and foremost, can the equity market rally that we've seen over the past few weeks continue? Also, can the rally in oil prices continue, and I'm going to be looking at that in particular. But also, I think there's an awful lot of speculation about what the ECB might do at its rate meeting on Thursday. And in that context, we're going to have a look at the euro dollar chart to see whether or not we can expect to see any further gains. You may recall in December, that Mr Draghi disappointed an awful lot of people with his stimulus package um, that he announced and that caused the euro to rally quite significantly. And I think markets are a lot more cautious ahead of this month's rate meeting. That being said, there does appear to be upward pressure building on the euro. I think as a result of a slightly weaker dollar, and obviously that weaker dollar is also helping push oil prices up as well as the euro up. And it's also helping underpin the pound in the context of last week's video where I warned about the potential for a sterling reversal. And at the moment, we've seen the cable rally quite significantly above 142. And the question I'll also be posing is whether or not we can see further gains there. So we're going to make a start with Brent crude. And the rally that we've seen over the course of the last few weeks has been quite impressive. But we did warn about it a few weeks ago. And we have now broken above a key resistance level on Brent crude and WTI. Now, for the purposes of this video, we're going to be looking at Brent crude prices and the daily chart. Now, last week, we broke above the $36 a barrel mark, and we do appear to have broken out of a triangle pattern. Now, that suggests to me that we could well see further gains. We could see further gains in addition to the gains that we've seen thus far. And the way that I've measured that is I've taken the base of the down move, and I've projected the rally to the breakout point at $36. That projects at least a move to $44. So that suggests we've got further upside in Brent crude as long as we hold above $36. And we've got also a similar pattern unfolding on WTI. The slight difference in WTI is we potentially have a double bottom reversal, but nonetheless, the target is also a similar, a similar type of rally towards $41 a barrel, albeit the breakout level is slightly lower at 33 Moving on to Euro dollar and this week's European Central Bank rate meeting. And we're currently at a very, very key level on Euro dollar as displayed by this daily chart here. If we look particularly closely at the 200 day moving average under the number of times the market has managed to bounce back from it or above it. I've highlighted the key points by way of a yellow arrow. One ten and a half is the key chart point that I'm particularly looking at. If we manage to close above one ten and a half, then there's potential, I think, for further euro strength and further dollar weakness towards the levels that we saw pretty much in the middle of February, around about the 112, 113 area. But a lot will depend on how investors interpret Mr. Draghi's comments and the ECB actions on Thursday. Last, but my name is least, I'm going to be looking at cable, sterling dollar, four hour chart. It's a very nice little chart that we've got here. I talked about the potential for a sterling reversal last week. This chart, I think, really highlights the rebound that we've seen from the lows. Good trend line support from those lows, currently coming in around about 141, 140.80.90, which I think was a key resistance level on the rebound back up. Currently, we're finding a little bit of resistance around about 143, but certainly there is potential for further sterling gains and further dollar weakness. Given that we've got the Fed meeting next week and given the fact that it's very unlikely that we'll see any action from the Federal Reserve. So that's it for this week. Once again, thanks very much for tuning in. This is Michael Hewson talking to you from CMC Markets.